Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing The Sims 2. And here is the man of the hour. This is Call Me Kevin the YouTuber, the sim version of me which is utterly depressing. And this is the man that he wants to see as a ghost because he kept slapping me. Granted I was looking into his house with a telescope in the middle of the day but I still think he overreacted so I'm going to overreact in turn. Unfortunately Vidkun seems to just be able to swim forever because his AI is telling him hey I'm just leaving the lot. I'm no longer killable. So I have to figure out a way around this. Every fight of my being is telling me no but I think I have to let him go and bait him back into a better trap a more instant kill than letting him eventually starve to death in the pool I'm thinking fire how are you thinking when you've been in the pool for like three days straight <laughs> doesn't make much sense <laughs> this woman's just like hmm all right let's try and bait him in he absolutely hates me so I can't just call him over I'm gonna start looking into his window again here he comes Jesus the speed of him okay this little chamber cost me a grand so so I hope this works. All right, stop fighting and start firing. He's just screaming at me as I prepare the meal. <laughs> okay, now we just got to get out of here. But how the hell are we going to do that? Can you lock doors in this game? Oh, <gasps> you can. Goodbye. <laughs> Should have taken that little opportunity when the door swung open. Wait, no, what? No, you can't do that. It was locked. No. Okay, this was an absolute disaster. Like this could not have gone worse. Not only did my victim get away, but now I gotta eat this bloody awful TV dinner. Let's try this again. Oh no, now it's nighttime. Now it's just normal. If I look through the telescope, I'm just stargazing. All right, in the morning, his end will come. Oh, I discovered an unknown star and got $500. Well, that's lucky. It's not all bad. Still would have preferred vidcon's death but it's something i think you've earned a new telescope <laughs> it could have pissed off vidcon even more there we go i'm gonna see every freckle on your body with this bad boy <laughs> trying to get him in a good mood for work and only his social is down i guess i'll summon vidcon a good old slap fight will put my social needs up won't it i'm waiting i'm waiting for him to break the sound barrier here he comes <laughs> he's so fast oh sorry let me unlock the door for you hold on there you go now you can come in seal the chamber no <laughs> You can't just leave. All right, hold on. Oh, this is going to cost me so much. I can't, I can't afford it. Can I get my money back with the telescope? I don't think so. There we go. Okay, got him back again. I keep summoning him. This time, I'll just feckin' sell the door. All right, call me Kevin the YouTuber. Go here, freak him out. Act like the Blair Witch. Just stare into the corner. Call me Kevin has the day off today. Good, because I got a lot of stuff to do. Killing is very time consuming. There we go. I can't, I can't afford it. I gotta sell some things. I can afford the wall to let him out. I can't, I can't even get rid of the wall because it's too close. All right, hold on. Yes. There we go. Okay, there's the ding. If I'm right, you should not be able to get that. Yeah, because you are a visitor. You're not allowed to get that. I really want to move my telescope, but it's not letting me. Because Vidkund is technically complaining about it. I just cannot pick it up. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. Vidkund Inferno. Oh, a rose? Is this from the lady he tried to date? Or is this from Vidkund? <laughs> like kind of a godfather moment, you know? A rose and the kiss of death. Yes, fire! I like how minus 2,000 aspiration points came up there as well. That he had a fear of fire. <laughs> it's too perfect. Vidkund, please go closer. I'm really worried for my telescope. It's like $26, Vidkund. And I can't move it because there's a fire on the lot. Spread. Come on, don't die out. Spread, spread. He's so flammable. Look at him. Look at that flammable clothing. The fire has literally surrounded him. It is burning my telescope, but it's not burning him. Oh my god, he has somehow avoided this. How the hell is he doing this? Sweet bejesus, the fire burnt all of my belongings, and now he's in there alive, sobbing. I mean, I enjoy the fact that he's crying. It's just, I gotta try and kill him. What is he doing? He's like playing hopscotch on the ash. Vidkund, you're a weird dude. Now I can't even eat because that was my fridge and my, my toaster oven in there. And now his want is buy a refrigerator. Maybe I can order a pizza. I know it's like 2 a.m., but like I'm hungry and my house was on fire. $40? This better be the best pizza I've ever seen. He's screaming out he's hungry and the pizza delivery girl is going to the door. He's like, oh, just, just leave it there. I don't like social interaction. Oh my God, he's having a breakdown. Oh God, he's screaming again. He's screaming. He doesn't know how to interact with people. Okay, you better actually go talk to her. Yeah, you better change into your coat just for stepping out onto the porch. I'm afraid he'll starve to death. 
The Sims 2 is very cruel. No, you can leave. I don't tip. You go now. <laughs> what is she wearing? Is that a bridesmaid's like veil? What a weirdo. <laughs> As my guy <laughs> eats pizza standing up in his kitchen, which is entirely empty because I trapped my neighbor in an outside compartment and burned all my belongings. But she is weird. Oh my God. The way they eat in The Sims 2 is terrifying. It's like their face just turns into a liquid. Oh, that's nasty. Didn't like that. I need another friend to get a promotion. I wonder who I could call. The only people I know are the pizza girl and Edward Fox. Oh, I rang the pizza girl who I didn't even tip and left standing on the porch for like an hour, but she doesn't want to talk to me for some reason. It's also 6 a.m. <laughs> Why are you crying on the phone? I called the pizza lady and he's just crying. <laughs> Wait, why are you poking me? I, I invited you over. Oh, apparently... No, stop. Stop poking her back. I was just about to say, apparently we have chemistry, but I don't know if that helps. What are you zooming in on? What is Vidkun doing? Oh, he's falling asleep standing up. Oh, he pissed himself. Great. Hey, so I invited you over to um, read my builds with me, apparently. Will you stop poking me? Is this because I called you at 6 a.m.? Wait, what did I... Am I... Oh, I'm a mime. I thought I was a burglar for a second. That's a good cover. If you're ever breaking into someone's house dressed like a stereotypical burglar, just start going like... I think it would work. Oh, no. She came inside. She took some of the pizza that she delivered herself. Life has a funny way of working out, doesn't it? I should be kind of ashamed that there was just pizza on the floor. <laughs> Call me Kevin is miming on a street corner when a rival mime arrives with the intent of taking over the corner. What is this? Some mime turf war? The rival whips out an invisible ninja sword. Should Call me Kevin produce a sort of fight back or mime a dove as a gesture of peace? Oh, fight back. All is fair in mime warfare. Call me Kevin whips out an invisible broadsword. What ensues is an epic battle. Invisible sword clashing against invisible sword. Each sweeping strike finally being closer to misfortune. Finally, Call Me Kevin gains the upper hand and forces the rival to forfeit. I win the day and gain a body skill point. God, you can say I won, but we're both losers. Who are you and what are you doing here? Why are you reading my newspaper? Just some random dude like, hmm, I'm on the search for a Vidkund. I've been hired by his wife. I also have the most defined cheekbones ever known to man. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I think I'll actually have to be pretty creative with this because I don't want to let him out. So I might have to like, I don't know, put in a little rug like this, light the fire and then readjust his little cage. Why are you complaining about him in your way? He's not. Wait a second. Is he freezing to death? Yeah, wait, is lighting a fire a good idea? <laughs> Hold on, let, me, let me sell this and uh, I can just <laughs> come back tomorrow. You know, the want is see the ghost of Vidkund. He kind of looks as pale as a ghost. I'm allowed to say that, by the way. I'm also as pale as a ghost, so I'm allowed to say that. I'm gonna call Pizza Lady over again. Me want promotion. At this point, you'd highly suspect that he is just doing this to get free pizza. Why do you look pissed off just to be at my house? You came over here. You said, I suppose coming over couldn't hurt. <laughs> That's probably what Vid couldn't thought. Wait, why are you poking me? I just want a friend. Jesus. No, don't poke her back. Who is this? Troy Go? Well, make like your second name and go away. We apparently have chemistry, but this is just so taxing to try and get her to become my friend. Wait, what do you taking pictures of oh no it's binoculars i thought you were gathering evidence <laughs> again a bit nervous about vidkund over here she must be like what even is this it's just a block outside in the garden oh that's where i grow my weed like literally that there's a lot of weed in there full weeds never <laughs> oh the snow's coming in heavy <laughs> vidkund's just being tortured i don't know if he's gonna die but he's being tortured for sure all right vidkund does not seem to be dying from the snow so i'm gonna light up the fireplace and then hopefully he'll be interested in it because you know he's freezing and the speed he ran away from that, he knows it's trouble. He's sleeping when I did it, so I'm gonna put the snowman in there to try and wake him up. Oh, it worked. Imagine you turn around and see that's there. It'd be terrifying. I think this music is too cheery for the deed I'm doing here. All right, I'm just going to talk to her on the phone because apparently every time I call her over, she just wants to poke me and ruin our relationship. Without the context, that sounds like it's a very different type of problem. <laughs> he must think this is a legitimate nightmare every time he wakes up, the box gets smaller. I don't know what her deal is. We're up to 83 and she's still not considered a friend. Maybe she just doesn't like me as much. Oh my god, we're getting another one. We're building a model rocket. That sounds like a horrible idea for mimes. You can't even communicate. You're just guessing what each other are doing. Call Me Kevin has also been experimenting with a fuel that Call Me Kevin has been making by himself. Go with the experimental fuel, yes. The group presses the launch button for liftoff. A large fireball explodes from the base of the rocket and causes flame 
aiming debris to shoot all over the roof. You can't even start a house fire and you're starting a fire with rockets? I got demoted. <laughs> it's funny because when you speed it up, it actually looks like he's dancing with the snowman. Okay, I came up with a genius idea and this is definitely going to work. I got an interior fireplace and I've blocked the entrance with it so I can access it to light it, but he can't get out. There we go. And now I'll just passively light fires whenever I want and eventually he will die. The neighbors are going to just think it's a sauna or a steam room or something. <laughs> I am one dollar short for this toaster oven. Come on. Stores usually have them at $99 anyway because it looks more appealing. Can you just give me a dollar off? Finally, fire. All right, now just kill Vidkund fire. If only I could command fire like that. Oh, his fear is back. Imagine dying with this thing in the room, especially if this thing starts to burn first. Just the plastic melting demonic music playing through. Come on, spread on the rugs. That's why the rugs are there. Wait, no. Are you serious? How does this even happen? He feckin' came in to see what the hubbub was about and now I'm on fire. <laughs> This isn't fair. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually going to die. Okay, it extinguished. I don't know how the hell it extinguished, but it extinguished. Okay, no worries, Vidkund. I extinguished the fire with my body. Sweet Jesus, this is so difficult. <laughs> and the music just kicks off again. <laughs> Wait, why are you leaving the newspaper here? Oh, you think this is the front door. <laughs> She's like, I leave it here for Vidkund. <laughs> I hear screaming in there. I know someone's in there. I don't know whether my sim is just the most unlucky sim in the world or if this game just hates me. Better save it. Don't want to lose all that good progress. Look at him, the feckin' clown. He's a clown, all right? <laughs> yeah, this face about sums it up, doesn't it? Oh, as you can see uh, by the bladder stat, he pissed himself in his clown outfit at work. What a depressing thought. A clown at a kid's birthday party just pissing himself. Okay, I've moved to the time bomb strategy again because at least this, I know I can catch fire. Like, not me. Not, not me again, please. I mean, like, I know I can start a fire. Hey, we couldn't just said I'd drop a meal in for you. Anyway, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. And this time, lock the door for everyone. You're not coming back in here, mister. You're going to sleep for the night. There we go. Yes. Again, <laughs> his fear just keeps coming true. Come on. Come on. Start lighting up the place. Yes. Yes. This is looking good. This is looking fantastic. That music is just bumping. Wait, what? He just... What? Oh, man. <laughs> this game is so hard. It's as if they don't want you to murder people. All right, you know what? Load to the menu, and we're, we're going to do this again. <laughs> All right, I can hear the crying, so he's still in there. Fantastic. Same plan, but this time sell the feckin' door. He puts it in the oven and then immediately changes into his clown outfit. This makes the whole ordeal a lot scarier. The fact that my guy is dressed up as a clown as he tries to kill him. Sell the door. And there he goes, fleeing from the scene. Oh no, the army's getting involved. They're looking for him. Oh no, he's just stealing my newspaper. Why? I have never met you. What are you doing? Okay, here we go. He's trying to piss the fire out, but that won't work. He lived. Vidkun curious. I don't understand. They say curiosity kills, but apparently not. I just cannot end him. There's only one way to do this. I forcibly befriend Vidkund and then invite him to live with me and then I kill him. All right, we're in this for the long game. It's been very fun torturing you in that box. I've learned a lot, but you're free to go for now. Vidkund is at work working when I tried to call him, but like, how is he holding down a job? He's not showed up in like five weeks. I better clean up the yard because it's making him absolutely miserable. <laughs> the place is disgusting. Oh my God, the front yard is somehow even worse. Okay, you know what? Instead of cleaning, I'm going to go shower because now I'm disgusting. What? Oh my god, I'm getting stuff repossessed. What did you just take? You took my mirror. You know what? I'm actually glad because every time I look in that thing, I get sad. Yeah, that's the exact face I have. God, they have no shame, do they? If that's on the side of their vans, they're like, yeah, we're making people miserable. Deal with it. Can I have my job as a mime back? <laughs> I hate in my job. I have to socialize with people. Being a mime was brilliant. I didn't have to talk to anyone. That's actually a good perk of being a mime now that I think about it. Oh my god, his relationship is actually positive. Like the overall one. I I'm not sure how the system works, but the second second bar is pretty low still. They're still rated as enemies, but I'm hoping that'll heal over time given that the, the top bar is now positive. He can't hold a grudge forever, right? Like I just locked him in a room for a few weeks. The guy came by just to look at the cockroaches and then he left. Thank God I got my mime job back and I get the bonus again, so it's not all bad. I'm buying a telescope. All right, things are on the up again. I got the flu. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game keeps kicking me when I'm down. 
the hell was that? Something just exploded on the lawn. What? What was that? I don't understand. Oh my god, the repo man is coming again. <laughs> what are you gonna take this time? You know what? I never change my clothes anyway. You can have it. Call me Kevin has the day off today. Well, great. I can spend it in misery. Oh my god, he finally came over, but he brought his general friend. He asked me to bring a friend, and I was like, yeah, I guess. Why not? That explains why you kept coming by to try and find him. No, do not freak out. Do not slap me. I'm trying to become friends with you. Now they're fighting. For God's sake. Stop cheering him on. I don't want him fighting. Oh my God. He sounds like he's on the verge of dying. Oh, now he's picking weeds. Okay, is that like your apology? Now he's leaving. This game is impossible. You've trod the edge. What? You gave me a genie lamp. I can already tell this is a bad idea. But he wants to make a wish, so rub the lamp, I guess. Hey, genie. Could you kill Vidkunt at wish? Uh, give me a, a long life. Your wish is granted. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Give me the power to cheat death. I really need this one. Your wish is granted. I, okay, give me beauty. Okay, he didn't change, but apparently this is beautiful. I don't know what says beautiful with this expression, but but I don't know. I guess it's subjective. He's standing outside thinking about me with flames around me. Is that like you want me to die? Are you angry about me? Or are you just remembering the time I was literally on fire? Oh, I can use this cheat to make him selectable. Oh, I like like it. He fears fire. I wonder why. Oh no, now he's stuck in a loop of like trying to leave, but he can't because the AI was trying to make him leave, but he can't because he's my sim. All right, he went into the bathroom, so I locked him in there. That's my plan so far. <laughs> I essentially have no plan. I mean, I could just wait it out. He might just starve now that he's my sim. Apparently every sim I touch just wants to die immediately. <gasps> a mime fight. Fight back. Yes, I got a body skill. Unfortunately, the muscles are also invisible. The mime life is a cruel one. <laughs> used to pay day of vacation and I got the money because <laughs> I didn't let him go to work. All right, we'll have to move the shower out into the living room, I'm afraid. On front of the glass door, that should do. I also need the toilet, so I'll just move that out there too. Great. It clogged and all the toilet water went out of my carpet. Fantastic. The maid just shows up like, what the hell is going on here? Right, you know what? I think there's enough space where I can actually let you start a fire. This is so cruel. Like he is literally starving to death. And then I moved him away from the meal he just put on and blocked it. Wait, what? I went to the movies with one of my co-workers because our tastes in movies clash pretty heavily. Their working relationship suffers and Call Me Kevin ends up with a demotion. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> There's a fire. Wait, who is this? The social bunny. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you show up if the person's totally depressed, don't you? Yeah, I, I really need to talk to someone. Yes, yes, Big Quinn is on fire. It's about time. You're finally on fire. He's not dying, even though he was on fire. The camera keeps resetting because it knows he's on fire, but he cannot be killed. He's invulnerable. Look at this. He is literally on fire. He extinguished. How are you alive? Vidkund is the most ridiculous, overpowered villain I have ever faced. Oh my god. I was happy because I got my promotion, and then I decided, hey, I'm going to get this reward so I can make myself feel better, and uh, he got absolutely fried by it. His aspiration has been changed to grilled cheese aspiration and now all he wants to do is cook or eat grilled cheese. Oh my god, he got a promotion. Finally, things are looking up. Good lord. Now I'm a lounge singer. Oh my god, all that singing finally paid off. Oh my god, he's being abducted by aliens. I forgot they had the cutscene things in this game. Oh my god, that's what you get for getting obsessed with that telescope. And don't they... Oh my god, they impregnate males, don't they, when they get abducted. Oh god, he's gonna have a child. Oh sweet Jesus, his life just got a whole lot worse. <laughs> he couldn't have handle himself. Never mind a child. Okay, well, you know what? I think we'll end it there because this just got a whole lot more weird. Uh, if you want to see more, do let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you feel, because I would be happy to do more. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this wacky ride, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hope to see you next time, folks. Bye for now.